What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, Next Gen 720 Bang, 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 bang. Ah. Now, with that being said, um, I have a, um, an article here. We talked about it before. I guess some of, you know, the Wii U were, um, the Wii U, you know, is not living there. They're not selling as it was expected or as they thought it would sell this holiday season. I'm going to read this to you. It says, Wii U hardware and software sales at GameStop during the holiday season were below expectations. Now, remember I told you, I seen me myself, there were abundance of Wii U's behind the counter. Uh, then everyone, they never picked up their Wii U that pre-ordered it. And, like I said, and I seen six U's Wii U's behind it. You know I mean? It was like, you know, six U's Wii U's there. But anyway, this is just at my local GameStop. But anyway, Wii U hardware sales and software sales at GameStop during the holiday season were below expectations, according to the investor Note from Stern, Aggie. Analyst Pathea, the industry watcher, said Wii U availability at GameStop continues to be abundant. The Wii U made its worldwide debut November 18th in North America and sold 400,000 units during the first week. The console then launched in Europe and in Australia on November 30th, but no prospective sale figures for those reasons have been announced. The Wii U's December 8th launch in Japan saw first weekend sales coming at 308,570 units. But Bethia also revealed that the $350 Wii U Deluxe model is selling at a greater clip than the $300 basic version at GameStop. Presumably due to its better value, the Deluxe model includes 32 gigabytes of storage space to, to the basic units 8 gig, and it's a bundled copy of Nintendo Land. And, well, it was Nintendo Land. Additionally, Bethia said, check this is important. Additionally, Bethia said that the Wii U software attach rate at GameStop is low. Okay? Like I said before, they didn't have a game crack the top 40 in the UK. And you go to the top 10 in the USA, same thing also. I get top 10, you know. That is a problem. Here's the thing. Now, one of the problems, I understand that the Wii it was a big commercial success. It sold over, it sold over, you know, damn it, 100 million consoles. But, as like you said, won the war but lost the battle. This, their software tax rate wasn't that great when it came to third party support. Now, Nintendo first party titles are going to sell. But you got a guy like me. Now, Nintendo said that they were going back after the, I consider myself the hardcore market. I'm a gangster. And they were going back after that market. The, the, their customers that they lost to the PlayStation and the Microsoft brand. And like I said, you know, they came out with some third party games. You know, Assassin's Creed 3, Mass Effect 3. I give them that. You know, I give Nintendo props for that. But. They're not selling on that console. You know what I mean? I'm just being real. If they're not selling on that console, you have older games that, you know, the games that have been out for a while on older platforms that perform better on seven year old hardware than they do on a supposedly eighth generation console. That, I believe, is the problem. But like I said, a lot of times, like I said, the same, you know, that Nintendo fans are not going out supporting this console because. That system is, you know, more or less, you say, dead on arrival if it doesn't have third-party support. That's why the third-party support dropped from the Wii, because this shit was not selling. Developers and stuff are in business to make money. This generation is, well, last generation, we're going to say we're going to eighth, because this is, I guess, eighth generation console. Games were more expensive to produce. And they're not, and they're not going to they say continue to spend money or throw money at the system, and if their software is not selling. Now I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna hold on to this damn thing until Bayonetta 2 comes out, and if that game looks and plays like an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3 game, I would never spend another dollar on the wheel. All right, you guys, so those who just port games now, Bayonetta 2 is not a port. This is supposed to be made up from the ground up for the Wii U. And if I don't see anything that wows me and dazzles me, you know what I mean? Like something I cannot done do on what I have here with my PlayStation 3 or my Xbox 360, I'm done with the Wii U. It's going to be a paperweight. I'm done with it, man, you know? Well, now you said Netflix machine or Hulu box, Sling box. Like, because this doesn't make any sense. Like I said, Nintendo shame on you once. Like I said, they tricked me with that Wii. That shit was for, you know, it wasn't for me. And I'm not knocking you guys that did like the Wii. That's your thing. You know, I ain't here to... Attacking my beliefs of what you guys like, that's your thing. At the end of the day, what you guys eat don't make me shit. So, you know, if you guys like the way you played the way it was innovative, kudos to you. That just went for me. You know what I mean? I didn't I didn't like it, you know what I mean? But like I said, I say this. 
if, you know what I mean, like I said, now I'm going to give them to Bayonetta 2 comes out. Now, I wanted to get Injustice of Disguise for the Wii U. You know, if you guys know what that is, that is the the, game, the, the creators of Mortal Kombat series. They got the whole DC roster. They fight each other. I like fighting games. I was going to get that on the Wii U because it's supposed to be a stronger system. But their network is, you know, you don't have voice chat. Only, well, I'm going to have a fighting game. I can't talk to my opponent. Hey, I have a friend list on the Wii U, but I can't send proper game invites. Well, you said, well, you can't see, well, Call of Duty, I know you can send game invites. I don't have Call of Duty, but I know you can't do it on, you can't do it on NBA 2K13. You can't do it on, uh, what else, Tekken Tag. You know what I mean? I'm just being real. You can play your friends on it, but you have to put it in the same match and search it and decode. Like, come on, that's not a game invite, man. Like, come on, you know. Now, what if somebody out there on the spectrum put in the same code as you? You got to fight. Like, come on, that's just stupid on Nintendo's part. I don't know. Who, I don't know. You know what they say? Don't don't blame Nintendo. Blame the developer. Well, I still blame Nintendo because they allow the developers to do that shit on their console. Like, come on, to have the eighth generation console that have voice chat inside their games. Yeah, I'm back with a voice chat. Ain't no voice chat. Bang bang. But anyway. I'm about to wrap this video up, and I'm going to leave a link in the description. But as I always say, bang, bang. <laughs> we you ain't selling, dog. Damn, I got hands.